everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. Today I will be sharing how I chalk painted, distressed, and glazed my thrifted early 1900s fireplace mantle. If you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and tap that bell and select all to receive my current postings. Now let's begin, shall we? So I started by removing any and all debris from the mantle. I will be using this paint that I purchased from Michaels. It is a chalkboard acrylic paint. I will be using a flat square brush and a small bowl for my paint. So I will just be making left to right strokes and I will only be, be applying one coat of paint. This paint really covers nicely. On the front ends of the shelf, time-worn character has been added, making for a perfect touch.
So I come back after a couple of days once I know the paint is good and dry and I start the distressing process. So here at the very top, I started distressing. And I just work my way around all of the edges and the flat parts as well. And this part has not been done yet. This is really a nice area to work with here on the corners. Such character. I will be using 120 grit paper. and I just folded it up. I don't really like using sanding blocks too much because I really like filling what I'm working with. And you just go over, don't press too hard, just go over lightly. And when you distress, it truly is to your liking you want a light distress just go over a few times as you can see here I went over quite a bit I want to see some of the wood color coming up through the paint So this being such an old fireplace mantle, I really wanted to give it a good distressing to bring in the primitive type of decorating. I won't necessarily be decorating primitive, but the shelf will have a primitive feel. And when you sand, try your best to go with the grain of the wood. And here I have finished the, distre the distressing process. So as you can see, the wood color that's coming through is lighter and I kind of want to warm this up a little bit. Nice detail. So next I will be applying the glaze. It does say wax, I call it glaze. I purchased this from Michaels. And I'm going to warm up this wood. So 
So I just applied a single coat. And then with a cloth, actually my husband's shop towel, I just removed it. And as you can see, the wood is much warmer in color than this top piece right here. So here, glaze and no glaze. It gives it a very nice touch. Now that the glaze is finished, I will be placing polyacrylic and I will be using the clear matte finish. And an angle brush. Now it's very important when you apply the polyacrylic that you try to keep your coating thin otherwise it will leave like a white milky finish once it is dried so try your best to put on thin coating It's also very strong, so I highly suggest that when you work with this that you are in a very well ventilated area. Now I will be showing you how I applied wood stain to some of my eggs. I will be using the espresso, espresso excuse me, finish. I like the deep rich color on this. I use this for my coffee table as well. And some gold acrylic paint. and a special effects brush. So I'm just gonna use one of these towels and apply some glaze. And when you place the glaze on, go with the grain of the wood. And here you just apply again to your liking. I wanted a very rich color. And then another tissue to dab off the excess. What's nice is each egg comes out differently. and then you just let them dry.
Now here I started with the plain egg and then I applied wood stain. The espresso finish. Then I used my special effects brush and applied the gold acrylic paint. It allows the nice wood grain to come through when using this brush. And this one has polyacrylic on it. I use the clear matte finish. And here is a sweet little carrot that I wanted to warm up and make golden. So I started with this. and I used the Liquitex Gold. I purchased this from Michaels. So this part is fun. I wanted to keep doing it, but I only needed three carrots for this project. And you just dip it in and pull it out. So I double dipped. and then you pat off the excess. And there you have it. A nice warm colored carrot. I could do this all day. There's something very therapeutic about this. And then you dab off the excess. And then you let them dry. Now we're going to apply the gold on top of the staining and you just go back and forth. And as you can see, using this special effects brush, it allows the wood stain to come out through the gold. And you just apply as much gold as you like. And then you just apply a little up at top where your finger was. Now I will be placing the gold around my carrots. Now I also wanted to mention the Painted South. She also has a YouTube channel as well and she does phenomenal painting. If you have not been to her channel, I highly recommend that you go take a look at her. She does fabulous painting projects. And she did some wood stained eggs as well. Again, her channel is The Painted South and I will link her in my description box.
So there we have it. A sweet little gold carrot. And now I have the mantle placed up on the wall. And in my next video, you will see me decorating it. So much character on the corners of this shelf. And it just gives it a nice, primitive look. So I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video.